Hey kiddos, hope you guys are having an awesome Sunday. For the children's sermon today, I want to talk to you guys about the Good Samaritan. Now, I'm sure all of you have heard the story of the Good Samaritan before. I would say it's a pretty, it's a pretty famous, a pretty classic uh, Bible story. But just in case you forgot or you don't remember completely, I'll give a quick refresher on what the Good Samaritan parable is. It's the story that's told by Jesus. And in the story, there's this man who's going from one city to another, and when he's traveling, he gets, he gets attacked by these robbers. They beat him up, they take his money, they steal his clothes. It's terrible, right? And then he's just left all alone by himself on the side of the road. And the worst part is nobody helps him, right? So Jesus talks about how a Levite, and a priest both pass by this person. They see him and they just pretend he doesn't exist. They don't want anything to do with this person. Nothing at all. So they just continue walking. And isn't that terrible when someone needs help and everyone else is just ignoring that person? Well, luckily for us, there's a third person who walks by and he's a Samaritan. Now, I want you to know one thing about Samaritans and it's that they were not good friends with Jewish people. In fact, you could almost say they're enemies. Like, imagine someone you really don't like. Maybe it's a bully at school. Or maybe it's your little brother after uh, he broke your toy, right? And you just really, really, really don't like them. Well, that's how the Jewish people and the Samaritans felt about each other. They were enemies. They didn't like each other at all. But out of all the people, it was the Samaritan that nobody likes. He was the one who came and helped, right? He walked along, saw this person who was beat up on the side of the road and said, I'm going to help him. And he did more than just help, right? He took care of his wounds, took him to a hotel, paid for his room at the hotel, paid for food. And this was all money out of his own pocket. Let me tell you, that's really expensive. But he did it anyways to take care of this stranger. Now, I want to ask you which character in the story you would like to be. Do you want to be the Levite who walked by and did nothing? Do you want to be the priest who walked by and did nothing? Or do you want to be the Samaritan who walked by and helped? Well, I think the answer is pretty obvious, right? I want to be the Samaritan who helps. And hopefully you said the Samaritan as well. Um, but I just want to explain why Jesus told this parable in the first place. He did it because somebody was asking how to live forever, how to get eternal life. And Jesus told them the story of the Samaritan and said, be like the Samaritan and you'll have eternal life. Now, I don't know about you, but that, that makes me worry. I'm like, uh-oh, I can't be good like the Samaritan. You know, I'm a sinner. I'm not perfect and I can't. I haven't helped everybody that I've met. I don't think anyone can be as perfect as the Samaritan was. But if that's the case, then does that mean none of us are going to heaven? Well, lucky for you guys, the answer is no. That's because you don't have to be the Samaritan. Now, I know the Samaritan is the hero of this story, right? He's the good guy who does the good things. And everyone wants to be the Samaritan. And you should be a Samaritan and be good to those around you, even strangers. But I want you to take your imagination and use it and pretend. Think that you're not the Samaritan. Pretend that you're the person who got beat up and is lying on the side of the road. You can't even move. Because in reality, that's who we are. We're, we're sinful and... We're broken, and we can't do anything about it. But if we're not the Samaritan, then who do you think the Samaritan is? Well, luckily for us, the Samaritan is none other than Jesus. He is perfect, and he does everything that we can't do, right? So if we need help, Jesus is the one who takes care of us. He's the one who pays for our hotel, pays for our food out of his own pocket, right? He even paid with his own life on the cross. That's the ultimate payment. 
Now, the takeaway I want you to get from this is that, yes, everyone wants to be the Samaritan, and you should want to, because it's good to help people, especially those who are in need. But if you don't, if you're not perfect like the Samaritan, you don't have to worry, because Jesus is the true good Samaritan. He's the one who helps us and takes care of us. And so hopefully that gives you guys encouragement, right? To do good. But even if you mess up, even if you're not perfect and you're a sinner, it's okay because Jesus will come and take care of you when you can't because he's the good Samaritan. So with that, that wraps up the Sunday School lesson. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'll say a quick prayer before uh, moving on. Dear Lord, I want to thank you for these kids. Thank you for their energy, their joy, their curiosity, and their sense of justice. You know, I'm always surprised, happy that little kids will call out the injustices and the sin of this world because they see it as how it is, and they will call out unabashedly. Lord, I pray that you protect them during this difficult time, during this global health pandemic, especially as schools are starting back up again. Lord, may you take care of them and meet their needs, both physically, mentally, intellectually. Be there for them, Lord, and take care of them. And Lord, I want, I want you to let these kids know that it's okay to not be perfect because you're there and that you're the good Samaritan who can take care of them when they can't take care of themselves. And Lord, that's something that all of us need a reminder of. So I pray that you would bless these children, bless uh, this time in Sunday school together, and I pray all of this in Jesus' name. Amen.